What's good, Tinani, your family? Welcome to another video with both of us. We haven't done a video in a we long time. We have to get us in the same place at the same time. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, I was a bit sick. Be sick. I just say, be sick, dude. Sick. Kiwi's <laughs> a bit suck. Yeah, she's a lot better now. But uh, as you can see, we're dressed up. Today was... Pop sunburn. No, Pop's second year anniversary. I don't like to say anniversary. Just second year since our father's been gone. And we just celebrate it like he was here normally. Today we went down to the cemetery and it was a little bit emotional. It was a bit hot as well. But in saying that, we went to his favourite, which was Sizzlers. Sizzlers. And every time he would pick us up from the airport, no matter where we went, he would always drive to Sizzlers. <laughs> yeah. and we would have to shout Pop Sizzlers. I'm like, hey, call Dad. Thanks, Dad. Thanks, Dad. Whatever because he picked us up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <It's the payment. laughs> The girls at the moment with uh, Uncle Ine and Auntie Lani, shout out to them. They're at a crab fest. So we decided to do two videos because we didn't post yesterday. I am posting today. Yeah. Last week, we were a bit delayed. Last week on Instagram, I pulled up a uh, story asking you guys for some questions. Now, the stories have built up. Thank you to Harriet up at Orsa, Katrina and Aisha from Brisbane. We love you girls. And some other guys that uh, also follow us. Sorry, we can't mention everyone's name. But thank you for the question. So we're going to start the questionnaire right now. So, the first question uh, is, Duda, will you open a salon in Brisbane in the future? We were talking about it uh, probably a few years ago. We're quite comfortable at the moment with where we are, but you never know what God's plan is. Yeah? Hope that answers your question. Yes. Question number two, B. Is it true that you need to wash your hair twice? Depends how stinky your hair is. A week. <laughs> well, yes. Someone like I can't speak on behalf of someone that's got fine hair because I don't have fine hair and the people in my family don't have fine hair. So try to minimize your washing, although we think shampooing and conditioning is an awesome thing for our thick hair. Guess what guys? We're actually stripping out the natural oils that we need. So two washes, I don't think the maximum for our Absolutely. <laughs> two washes a week. Yeah, absolutely. Now those that could have very fine hair, which is the bow on the side. Do you the question B? How do you start YouTube? I don't know, but no surprise. All I remember seeing was this big camera in my face. I was like, what <laughs> is going on, Deva? But Deva is a man of surprises and just want to ask you that. Okay, let's have a look. Let's go back to the little bit of here. So, uh, I'm just going on our YouTube channel and we're going to go to our videos. And our first, our let's go to oldest video. And our oldest video was seven months ago. The exact date was the 8th of August. Coming up to a year though, 8th of August was our first video. And that's how we started YouTube. We just picked up the camera. What a 
What inspired you? I've always loved videos. I've always loved creating videos and editing videos. And uh, there was a movement called Polytube. So we jumped on the bandwagon. Very good, very good. All right, next question from you guys on Instagram. Here's our Instagram tag, guys. Go follow us so you know what we do every single day. Now, uh, bees, what is your favorite thing about each other? About what is your favorite thing about each other? Okay, well, hey, guess what? I remember when we got married, we took vows, right? Through the good and the bad. So, the favorite thing about each other is doing life together. Uh, doing life with this fella and this fella doing life with me. Look, um, we know perfect family. We, like every other family, we have our obstacles and our challenges, but I believe they only strengthen you. But what I really love about our relationship is um, we really blend, mm. and I really think that being best friends before we got married really helped, so nothing came as a surprise. There's surprises along the way, but hey, you know, it's all about surprises, but that's what I love about um, so doing life and having this journey together and then with our journey we've brought along our children and our parents and um, yeah, gotta love it, gotta be in it to love it. Deuce, how did you start hairdressing? How did I start hairdressing? This one. Started, uh, it was her passion. I was always around her uh, doing her cousins, doing weddings with her. And then I started to really, really enjoy it. Started off as a chef first. You did. She did hairdressing and then I decided to change my course of my career and start mm. hairdressing. Mm. A very long time ago, y'all. Very long time. All right, bees. what is your favorite thing to do in Bali? Okay, guys, now, if you know me, you know what I love. When I get to Bali, what I love doing. And Deb is gonna be really good and show you the segment and what I did when I was actually getting massaged. <laughs> that is one of my favorite pastimes and one of my favorite things I like to start the day with and end the day with. Yeah. I love massages. She always says, I'm going to go for a massage. Do you want to come? I'm like, nah. She always goes by herself. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What is one feature of each other that you would like to have? What is one feature one of feature. each other? One feature. Hmm. Hmm. He was teasing me and my family about how. Yeah. <laughs> I would love to have his voice. That's what I would like to have. Well, thank you. Even though I think I'm not that great, but thank you. <laughs> and me? I would like to have. Coloured eyes. Diva's eyes. <laughs> <laughs> now, one of the pictures uh, that Diva has that I really, really like. Okay, so when we got married, I'm going to take a little bit of time on We got married and we placed um, the rings on each other's fingers. There is something about Diva's family. The Tananias have beautiful fingers. See? That's really feminine. Look, yeah, so if you see the photo, um, it's like, oh my gosh, that's a really manly ring. Hello, let's do this. <laughs> Next question. How do you guys come up with uploads daily and what is your inspiration? Mm. We just do it. <laughs> we come up with it on the spot. Some people say to write it down and go with the flow, but I just find it's a lot more stressful. Yeah. Uh, if we feel like vlogging, we'll vlog. Yeah. If we feel like doing a sit-down like today, we'll do it. Yeah. If we feel like doing a sell-on one, we'll do it. Yeah. But we're all about keeping it consistent. No matter what it is, we'll always find a video or something exciting. Yeah. Because we all live exciting lives. Us and you too. Yeah. So you need to pick up the camera and start vlogging you, y'all. I think another really good thing, sorry, dude, I'm gonna add on to that is um, because we're such people, we're people's people, people's people, people's person, person's people. We well, you know what I mean. But every day we talk to people. Mm. And I think sometimes as a startup, our inspirations come up with a topic that maybe you were speaking, you know, confidential with your client or a friend or even the news. I think just the way the world moves today really inspires us with a lot of inspiration. Things like uh, sit down with Miss Bees, they're usually topics that are concerning us parents now. So yeah, something to do with the times and that is moving and is quite hot on the topic.
a bit at the moment. That's what I think. And what inspires, you probably see my face more than B on our weekly vlog. What inspires me is um, you guys. Yeah. You know, every day you guys watching the videos all the time. If we didn't get any views, I'd be like, what are we doing wrong? But if you haven't seen our last few, we've jumped from a happy one, then we've jumped to bullying, which Diamond did. Emotional. And then we jumped to Miss B. Yeah. Once, and then we did salon vlogs, then we did a world, a world event of New Zealand. Yeah. You know, if you didn't see our last one, go have a look at it. It's all about sharing. And that's the thing with YouTube. Mm. It allows you to express your feelings yeah. and express uh, your voice in, um, in this world, mm. this day and age. So true, isn't it? Yeah. All right. How did you guys meet? Okay. How did we meet? Okay. So, do and I, uh, both from Adventist families. Our parents both migrated from Samoa mm. to New Zealand to New Zealand to Australia. Uh, Luba is Aussie born, and I'm Kiwi born. So, my mum and Dad's mum back in the days used to clean at the custom house. How's that? Uh. That's their first job, and that's where they got to meet each other. Hey, before they got married. So there's an established friendship and a relationship right there. From there, their generation, their generation, which is us, we became really, really good friends uh, through church and from church his history. We did everything together. And then she chased after me, you know. She chased years. after me too, but then <laughs> he was younger. <laughs> is it a matter? We, we were kissing buddies. We were. For a long time. Serious. Who? You. Moips. Oh, you all are moips. Moips. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Okay. What is your favourite thing about hairdressing? What is my favourite thing about hairdressing? I love how people come in with their own stories, and uh, this is true tea. And when they leave, you know the the reaction on their face. Absolutely happy and transforming them because we don't know what's going on in their life. But a simple thing as hair and beauty can change someone. I know it's artificial things. Amazing how it transforms someone's personality and gives them a better day and a better outlook mm, mm. than what they came in with. Yeah, no, that's true. I think uh, for me, a really good thing about hairdressing is I've dealt with a lot of ladies that are quite emotional. So, if the most simplest of words mm. like OMG you look absolutely beautiful yeah then I start crying and I'm like okay um, did I say something wrong and you'll be surprised how many people are not told how beautiful they look or how was your day just simple things that you can just converse with your your clients is really a great thing about hairdressing also you You'd be so surprised how much you know about a person after a three-hour consultation. But you know what, also, I agree with bees. A lot of the times, okay, males and females are very different. We don't understand each other to a certain extent. But all we need to do is a lot of women don't expect things. Women are more emotional with words. And it's something simple as saying, I love you, and a hug, and good night, babe. Have a, you know, have a good day, babe. And sending a text every oh. day. Hey, babe, I love you. Uh, as a male to a female is a big thing to them. Absolutely. Not sending flowers and chocolates and, and buying a dress. It's not yeah. about that. Yeah. It's not about that. Even though we think it is. Yeah. Us males think that, that women always want things. It's not about we that. We don't. It's not. They just want to be loved. Also to, you know, express how beautiful they look. Yeah. And you know what? Boys and girls. No, just boys. Happy wife. Happy life. Yeah, that's you look, true. You're beautiful today, baby. Thank you, darling. <laughs> and you know what? It's so true because I really get excited that time of day. I kind of know when do the sending and through that naked pick of her. <laughs> you know how Sandy likes sex? 12 o'clock. Hello! 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 Was I meant to text it to you? <laughs> <laughs> Alright! Coming up to our second last question. For all of those who have posted up questions, thank you very much for engaging with us through our Instagram. Don't forget also to go and check out our other videos in our playlist as well, okay? Love you. Where do you guys come from? Okay, so I just, are you talking about? I don't know, just. Okay, so.
Take the Christian as you Take think. it back to our roots, man. Okay, I am Samoan. My, both my parents are Samoan. Um, so they were born in Samoa. I was born in New Zealand, Auckland. And then at a young age, we migrated to Australia for a better life. So I am married to an Australian. My kids are Australian, but I am still on a Kiwi passport. Why? Because we don't require visas. Mm. I love my New Zealand passport. So when we go to Bali, the Aussies have to pay the $25 tax, and the Kiwis will just go straight to it's like, hello, I'm in here. I'm in here But as we're on the same subject, condolences to all the families out there that are going through a lot in New Zealand at the moment. I just want to stop for one second and uh, in Christchurch if you don't know go have a look at our last vlog you know it's it's, it's pretty sad at the moment. Uh, look like what Rod Dervis said you know a place that is pretty much like a dot. On peace. The yeah. All peace over there. We're all peace and we're mm. all Kiwis and Kiwis don't even have a cry. Do you know what I mean? Uh, yeah. um, so for something devastating as to what had actually happened mm. and you know you hear of it, hear of it happening You're dead right. We never thought this would happen to the beautiful New Zealand. So a lot of alofas and um, a lot of love yeah. to the families that have been affected. No matter what colour, what race, what religion, we're all about one love, guys. Yeah, we we're are. One love. We are. And we're all human. Yeah, so we're so. all human. Yeah. All right. Um, well, for me, sorry, just had to chuck that in because Brenda was talking about her New Zealand passport. But I'm Australian, as Brenda said, my parents are from Samoa, migrated to New Zealand, and then migrated to Australia. Okay? Okay, last question. What is one thing that you would say to someone that is wanting to start YouTube? I would just say, pick up the camera. We always say it on our vlogs. Sole Tunga! Pick up the camera! And it's that easy. We've been doing videos for a long time, but as I said, we just did it one day. After five years, maybe three or five, three to five years, just picked up the camera and started vlogging. But whatever your reason is, just do it. And be consistent with it as well. Yeah, that's, that's my advice. Uh, I think with YouTube, when it was introduced into our family, it would open a lot of opportunities with our career path in regards to what we do. So YouTubing alongside what we do, which is we are international hair makeup artists, this is another avenue meeting other people in the same industry. Also, with our snack group in Polynesians, I think it's another way to be able to meet and to, you know, you'll be so surprised how many salmons do it. And, you know, we were just so happy to do that. So, for us, it's something that's become a passion and because we have goals as well. So, YouTube is definitely a platform that will definitely help our family to get to a stage in life that we just want to be happy and YouTubeable and to find our niche in the Polynesian and not only Polynesian, we've got so many friends from all over the world. I wouldn't say it's easy or if it's hard, but you've got to work hard on anything, really. Nothing's um, given to you free and you know, these days a lot of people got excuses, that's what I find. A lot of people are like, oh, I'm so tired of this, I'm tired. You know what? You've got to work hard for what you want to get and what you're going to have. Um, and we've always worked hard. I'm not saying people out there don't work hard, but it's got to be a passion. Mm. And passion is something that you love and you enjoy. It's like when you want to do something, you can see that it's not a passion if someone doesn't want to do it because passion and habit become one, right? Mm. So it's something that goes together. You've really got to enjoy what you're doing, just like a nine to five job. You've got to enjoy what you're doing, guess what? You're there most of your life. But most of all, I think at the end of the day, everyone's got their why. And we know our why, and we're pretty set on that. So that is why we're doing YouTube. But another thing is always be positive. Mm. Always be positive. We go through stuff every single week, every single day. You've got to go through that in order for you to enjoy your journey and not to happen again. But then, you know, you've got to turn it upside down. And that's the fun of it. Mm coming out of it and you're just like yes thank you god thank you yeah. for everything that you've done for us you only get one go right mm. yeah. one go and i guess you know at the end of the day when it's that one go you just don't want to wish that you never did it mm. it's, it's time, time for our shout out welcome it's time for our shout out
this is Caroline, always reminding you that you are created beautifully. Today is Tuesday, so today we will have some type of makeup or beauty video every Thursday. I have vlogs, and every Sunday there are bonus videos. So the shout out for our family today goes to you. are created beautifully, guys. You know how much we love you guys, and we always appreciate all the input the replies, the love hearts. And you know what, I just wanna thank you so much. Thank you, sister, for always commenting, as she said. We love your channel, love all your makeup tips. Um, and of course, thank you to your family. Love to see you guys. Oh my God, so talented. Please go and show them some love um, on their channel as well. But you know that, that's in on your family center. There are three things that we 